Hello everybody, it is I, the Willowigy Big Mac, and welcome back to Pac-Man World Repack. Last time, uh, we completed this level right here. Uh, Crisis Cafe. Now we're gonna be moving on to the, uh, next... To the, uh, <laughs> next level, Manic Mines. Now, this is the... Now, this is the last regular level in this world before we fight the balls that's, uh, over here. Now... In case you weren't here for the la previous episode, well, first thing first, you should probably watch the previous episode. Uh, secondly, just to reiterate what I, what I said last time, in case you forget, uh, Manic Mines. It's technically two levels in one. For whatever reason, when the original was coming out, uh, they just, I, I guess they were just on a time crunch and they didn't have the time to split the two, this, to split this level into two levels. So, they just made it one long level, so... Which is why, which is why the key and the uh, and the family member is in the same level. But enough talking. Let's get in here. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about today is uh, it, it is definitely Pac-Man World related. Related. Oh yeah. So these enemies right here, you have to rev roll because you can't butt bounce on them. Ow. Uh, anyway, so one thing I wanted to talk about is the, uh, is the lost, not really, well, not really lost media, more like the scrap content of, of the Pac-Man World series. So, supposedly around 2009, 2010, Amka was originally planning on making another Pac-Man World game. It was just titled, like, Pac-Man World, like, there was no, like, subtitle or anything. Uh, and supposedly it was going to be a another Pac-Man World game, whether it was supposed to be a reboot of of the first game, or whether it was going to be a Pac-Man World 4 of some kind, it was hard to tell. Uh, supposedly it was going to use, uh, supposedly it was going to use the, uh, the redesign, uh, the Pac-Man redesign from Pac-Man Party for the Wii. Uh, and later the Ghostly Adventures. Now, now, no one knows if Ghostly Adventures ends up being, uh, what this Pac-Man World game ends up becoming. I never played the Pac-Man Ghostly Avengers game, so I don't know if it has the same mechanics as Pac-Man World. Wait, yeah, there's that. Then, before Pac-Man World, there was a game in development called Pac-Man and the in the Ghost Zone or something like that. And the story of it is actually pretty interesting. Supposedly, the game's plot point is is that you're a kid. So this is kid. Uh, he, the, the new hottest uh, arcade game is uh, is out. And, uh, all the other kids were telling him to go piss off and play Pac-Man. So, so the kid gets annoyed and just starts insulting the machine, which, uh, which pisses off Blinky, Inky, and this, uh, and this new guy, Al, called the Ghost Lord. Now, Ghost, now Ghost Lord decided, you want, if he, you want, let's teach him a lesson, let's just turn him into Pac-Man and suck him into the arcade machine, so. <laughs> so they just straight up kidnapped the kid into the arcade machine. And, I mean, it was supposed to be a platformer, like uh, Pac-Man World, although, only, although, worse, actually. Now, information, now, a lot of information on this game, like the game's trailer, and some of the models were actually discovered very, like, what I mean, recently? I mean, like, re recently, and what, and what I mean recently? I mean, like, very, well, that happened. Anyway, and what I mean recently, I mean very, very recently, like, like a couple months recently. Uh, where, what is the thing I need to unlock you? Because I do not have the fruit needed. I guess I'm gonna have to. I guess I'm gonna have to move on and backtrack, as this game is known to do. Because of course I can rev roll up there. Sure enough. Nope, not enough. There we go. Back in business. Let's just get all these back dots. But yeah, so now, now you met now. Uh, remember how I mentioned that it was supposed it was Pac-Man World, but worse. God damn it. 
Anyway, yeah, so the reason why it was, I called it Pac-Man World but worse is because of the game's control method. It used it used tank controls. And tank controls for a platformer is very, very bad. Now you might be wondering why I say that. Uh, have you ever tried playing the game with tank controls? This is a annoying one. Oh, I got, there were platforms here. There we go. Now we can head down there and uh, get get the letter C. Or crap! Anyway. But yeah, so tank controls on a platformer. Not very fun because uh, if you never if you don't know what tank controls mean, basically uh, the move you can only move forward or backwards. And then moving left or left or right on the stick basically moves the camera. Now for now for games like now for games like Resident Evil ugh, excuse me. Resident Evil, I mean it's fine. But, uh, for, for anything else, unless if it's like a tank simulator or something like that, uh, yeah, stay away from tank controls, uh, game developers. These perspectives of some of these jumps are a bit wonky, but... But whatever, I have, I have plenty of lives. Like I said, this game is... I mean, like... Like I said, this game is definitely cha is definitely this game is definitely challenging. Like it's a fun platformer, yet it's a challenging one. I'm in there, I thought I missed the dot. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I was no option there because the game decided uh, to spawn in the. Wow, really? Oh, fuck you, game. For a minute there, I thought I died. Wait, I missed- I missed one? Oh my god. Oh. Thank god. Alrighty then. Honestly, uh... Honestly, the runes area is, in my opinion... This world is now one of the best. Pirate area is pretty good, and well, I'll give you my opinions on the other worlds uh, when we get around to it. It's hard to tell if you're actually going to like. You can kind of tell with the shadow, but at the same time, it's also very subtle. There we go. Yeah, also, you also gotta. I also gotta make sure to find a key for this area so I can get a. Uh, I want to call him Chomp Chomp because that's the name. Is that technically the name of the dog? But no, apparently Chomp Chomp is uh, copyrighted. Apparently, apparently, uh, at games. So at games apparently owns the uh, the royalty rights to. Uh, Pac-Man Jr., Miss Pac-Man, uh, Pac-Baby, and, uh, and Chomp Chomp. I do not get why, but, again, they own the royalty rights, which, uh, again, uh, again, screw you, uh, 
at games? Up yours. But yeah, so, uh, the dog's name in this game is Pack Buddy. I mean, like, I mean, it works, but Chomp Chomp is definitely a better... Oh, God, these... Oh, God, these tornadoes. I forgot them. I forgot about the tornadoes. Oh, I forgot about the tornado enemies. I do not have a strawberry. Um, let's see, where am I supposed to be? Up here? I believe it looks like up here, up there. Uh, that's an invisible wall. Uh, I'm assuming I'm supposed to go up here, find a strawberry, come back down. Yep, sure enough. Time to, oh, time to make my way back and, and get harassed by the, uh... But the uh, tornado again. Cool. I, I didn't think it would actually get to go in there, but I guess it can. I know, I know in like the, uh, I know Pac-Man World 2, you can actually, uh, keep me away from that dumb tornado. I hate, I hate that tornado. Uh, I, I got all of them. Alright, I'm, I'm, yeah. Tornado is the most, so far that is the most annoying enemy in this game. Hands down. Oh, thank God. Wait, it reveals, it reveals your, your health? No, no, you're supposed to get one piece. Unless, unless that's a special type of piece. So far, I have yet to see any spot where the key would have been, so I'm just going to continue on if... If I don't see it anywhere, uh, in this level, I'll backtrack and, uh... Well, not really backtrack. If... If I cannot backtrack, then I'm just going... Actually, yeah, I actually cannot backtrack. So I'm... So if I don't find a key, I'll just redo the level, look up where the key is, so I can get that. Okay, well, there's a Galaxian. I'm gonna go over here. That's an extra life. Good Lord knows I need that. Well, let's get the other maze done. What's, all right, what's the uh, all right, what's the gimmick this go around? I mean, so far it's just standard old Pac Man. Is that the gimmick just basic Pac Man? Alright. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. I'm I was slightly flipping through to go uh inky there, so Honestly, it felt like that one should have been the first maze you do in this level, and then uh, the other one be the second one. Because, like, there's no gimmick there. That was, that was just basic Pac-Man. Anyway, let's just head up here. Whoop. Well, didn't mean to do that. I guess I'm, I guess I'm gonna bounce around here. Oh, here I am. Right. More health, even though I didn't lose any. I'm gonna need a bell to get that A. I'm doing the bells right there. That's just regular old pack dots. Go away. Huh, interesting. I would have expected the bell to be there. Huh. That is a twisting. Uh wanna go that way. Plus. Yeah! Spider! That's very convenient. Yeah, so far this level has been a lot of waiting because you have to wait for a minecart to go by. Uh, like, this is a more slower pace. Uh, like, these levels are more slower paced, uh, in my opinion. Like, the Pirate Cove one was a bit more faster paced because there was a lot... Because, you know, there was a lot more stuff to do. There wasn't really a whole lot of platforming. Third level had a lot of platforming, but even then, you didn't really have to wait that long. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, fuck you, game. Ah, now we have to wait for, uh, cycles again. Hooray! There we go. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that. I'm assuming that guy is. Yep, he is still. <sighs> of course. I like my life back, please. Still hear that thing. Oh, there's the key. I need. I need, I, need, I just need a banana. Uh, cool. Life thrower. Ow! Excuse me. How am I supposed to avoid that? I clearly jumped over, and the game was like, "Yeah, no, you're gonna you're getting hit by it." No. Getting hit also kills your momentum as well, so... That ain't that lovely. Anyway... Hopefully... Hey, it is here. If there's a... Yeah, 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 I get it. Let me just... Let me just kill all the ghosts here. Anyway, now, now we get now that we got the thing we need. Hooray! Backtracking through the flamethrower. Yeah, how are you supposed to avoid that? By the way, because 
Because I don't know about you. I jumped over it a bunch of times, and you still get hit. Really good game design there, Namco. Honestly, I don't even remember there being a flamethrower. Oh, okay, that time I was able to jump over it. Unbelievable. Yeah, I do not remember there being a, a flamethrower in the uh, original. I wonder if that's a uh, thing they added on to make it a tad bit more difficult or not. Oh, yeah, speaking of difficulty, uh, well, no. Apparently, the. Apparently, the American and and uh, European version of this game is more challenging than the Japanese version. Like, uh, Pac-Man World 1 and 2 uh, had levels shortened or, like, had, like, extra platforms that didn't make it easier for uh, for the Japanese player base. Which is interesting because, like, you, like you'll think Jap the Japanese version would be even even tougher, but no. No, it, no, the Japanese version uh, is actually baby mode. In fact, Pac-Man World 2 only came out on PS2 uh, in Japan. And, like, the third level of the game was just Pit City, like... Oh, it's the same one again. Anyway. Speed run. Anyway. But yeah, so like the third level in Pac-Man World 2, there's just a lot of pit. Like, like the whole thing is just one giant pit. Like you have to do precise platforming or else you fall off. Yeah, Japanese version, yeah, the entire pit is just covered. It's, it's, it's like, it's ridiculous. And like, one of the volcano levels in Pac-Man World 2. Yeah, uh, the midway checkpoint for that level is uh, when the level ends in the Japanese version. Anyway, time to gamble. I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay. Bigger as much. And uh, once again, I'm closing my eyes for these. All right. Well, we got two. We got two matches. Well, not, it's not like a full three, but we got two, so that's something. Oh, I just realized something. We never, we never went ahead and got Chomp Chomp or Pack Buddy, whatever his name is, did we? Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna be right back. Alrighty then. I uh, went through the level, died a few times, whatever. Uh, don't worry, buddy. We didn't forget about you. Wolf, wolf, I knew you could do one master. Thanks for saving me. I'll be outside waiting for you, wolf. Alright, now, alright, now we can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, leave the level. Uh, let's see. Well, we might as well, we might as well finish the, uh, the war wall. I mean, how long the boss is going to take? What could possibly go wrong? Because I, I believe we were like around like 20 minutes when the level was all said and done. I think I tried to avoid togas. I think I accidentally, yeah, I accidentally grabbed one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, don't care, don't care. But uh, anyway, uh, pack. Yeah, there's pack, buddy. Yep, poke it somewhere. 
anyway, uh, Nova's Rex. Let's see how bad this is. Cause I remember the boss fight for this, uh, for this world being... Oh, we, oh, we, oh, we have some Crash Bandicoot stuff. Yeah, this, this reminds me of Crash Bandicoot, huh? go. That, that, okay, yeah, they made this, they made this really easy. They made this boss fight really easy. Uh. It doesn't, up oh, man, there, there you are, talk man. Anubis. Ah, you can kind of see it. Alrighty then. Okay, I see now. Um. Uh, okay then. Die. Ow. Excuse you, game. There you then. Oh, I see now. Okay. In the original, there was a pit here. Whoop. Oh. Interesting. Woo! Okay, woo. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, now. Oh, yeah. They're making this a bit easier. Although. Oh, yep. Oop. Well, that was unfortunate. Oh, I have to redo the whole boss fight. Screw you, game. Alright, well, I at least understand how it works now. I do not like the idea of a homing fireball. You ready then? Yep. Yeah, because this boss fight had the tornadoes, which in the original made it annoying. Like, this is one of the most tedious bosses in the game. It's no wonder a lot of uh, people use the, uh, the, uh, the level skip glitch. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? So far, both times I died, I would consider horseshit. Well, once because the, the tornado hit me while I was on the ledge. And secondly, uh, I went, I, I, I went through an enemy, even though I, I mean, like, I wonder if the invincibility just made me go through the enemy, which, 
I, like, honestly, I don't think that should have happened, but here we are. Let's go. Let's go first. Never mind. We're gonna. No, I do not want easy mode game. Fuck off. Alright then. Thank God. Thank God you're able to cancel out the uh, rev roll. Yeah, so yeah, so far this boss fight is still just as annoying as the original. Okay, you get off the uh Wait, I'll go for this one. There we go. And this is where we, uh, lost last time. And those because of those stupid tornadoes. Alright, that's, that's side done. Ow. It was a, it was a, it was a pincer attack. Uh, okay, cool, that still hits. Come on, come on, come on. Excuse me, there was... He has a... He has a kill you beam. Alrighty then, screw this, I'm just, I'm just gonna skip, I'm just gonna skip to when I actually beat this boss fight. Alright, I'll, all right, I'll be right back. Alrighty then, uh, beat the boss, survive the kill you beam. Huh. <sighs> you know, I would have thought that Namco would have made this boss fight a tad bit easier and less annoying. They made it even more annoying. Thanks, thanks Namco. I went from like 22 lives to 18. And, and if you were curious about, uh, Ball's Phase 4, like, other than Kill You Beam, he spent, he spent out two tornadoes this time. Uh, yeah, uh, other than that, that's the only difference is. There should have been no reason why that boss fight was annoying. Like, as annoying as it was. I just, I just want to get through all this. Yeah, I died four times that boss fight. <sighs> well, hey, that's that. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, because if you did, uh... Well, you better subscribe, because... Because I, I was at the bridge... I was at the, uh... I was, I was almost about to tear my hair out at this point. So, uh... Yeah, so please subscribe, because I went through all the effort to kill that boss. Uh, then, uh... Yeah, until then... I'll see you guys next time, where we start Space Area... The first space, space level, uh, Space Race. Which is a very good level, by the way. Uh, so yeah, until then... Later!